everybody and welcome back to the channel as you can see we're doing apex legends solo no fills the true solo experience all by yourself i'm going to be playing watson and we're going to do five rounds these five rounds are going to be educational we're going to do five games all together if we die and we don't get anything out of these rounds then that'll be it this will be a really short video or it'll be a longer video and i'll be able to teach actually how you clutch out so the biggest thing when you're learning early gunfights is the best tip i can teach everyone is to get into the mix of it. Don't be afraid to actually engage and go for a fight. That's tip number one. Be somewhere near the action so a team thinks that you're a full squad of three. You don't want them to know that you're solo and that's probably the hardest part is that as you get higher skill-based matchmaking, they know more and more if you're solo or not and they will push you and they will fight. This is pubs. Pubs are, in my opinion, actually more difficult than ranked because people in ranked actually have a level of respect when it comes into a fight. But at a high level, they just flat out don't care. And that's uh, probably the scariest thing about this. And of course, I'm playing Watson right now. And is anybody landing me? No, 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 I don't think they did. Just listening for a second. So I'm going to commentate over my decision making, what we're doing. You know, we're Watson. We don't have an out, but it's a great legend to teach on. That's why I like teaching on Watson because you at least learn the fundamentals of like, oh, can I push? Can I not push this? What can I do? All right, I have the decision to go fight that, and I'm gonna cut up some of the gameplay every once in a while just to kind of cut out some dead time here and there, just to make sure it kind of keeps up in the action. I have an R301 and I have a, f a wingman. This is a great loadout. You always wanna have yourself a long range weapon. You wanna have yourself a close range weapon. That's gonna be ideal. Now, you need to be very definitive, just like as if you were fighting, I'm crying, I missed that. As if you were, playing ranked if you play this as if you're playing ranked and say i'm definitely pushing in i'm definitely disengaging you need to make a hard decision on what that is and you're going to have decisions where you just get lack for a better word screwed out of rng and it just happens unfortunately but you can avoid that by actually just full committing so we're going to do in this scenario is that we're going to full commit over to this team and if I lose, if I don't get any damage within the first, let's say, 10 seconds, I'm going to hard disengage and go for rotation because I need armor and I can't really stay here and fight. So let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Okay, there's people doing some damage. I got cracked. I didn't run. Hard disengage. They got better armors than me. I was here just hopefully to level up the armor, but it ain't going to happen. It's fine. If I landed better shots there, I go back in on that and we do just fine. But... That didn't happen, so it is what it is, right? Hard decisions. Make hard decisions when, you, when you're solo queuing on what you're actually going to do. Ooh, this blue there. Very nice. Okay, now we're just going to go play zone and wait for our opportunity. Let's rotate all the way north side. Like, you got to play it like ranked, essentially. The harder part, again, like I said, compared to pubs, is that people play really disrespectfully in these lobbies. They have no respect. You have to understand that if you take shots, assume that they're going to absolutely run at you. Because you're solo. They, if they didn't see the other two teammates, they're like, I think that guy's solo. Kind of guess what their comms are going to be. And that's where your game sense is going to kick up. So let's use this. Let's go rotate around. Look, race car, Watson. Let's go. Okay, so the goal here is just to rotate into zone. If I see a fight and I can third it, I will 100% third it. But I also have to be smart as a Watson because I can't really get in and out of a fight. Which is why, as a, as a Watson there, I completely disengage from that encounter. Because I know that, hey, it's going to be a struggle. Now, the reason why I'm not hunkering down into a building is because I know that gives them a higher probability to find out if I'm solo or not. You can do two things with it. You can put fences down and pretty much scream that, pretend that you're a full squad, but people in pubs don't have any respect for Watson fences, so I need to use them to the best of my advantage, so at least top eight squads right now. If a team starts shooting at me, I have no choice but to fight. I'm going to craft myself a 2x. Oh, nope. Okay, we got that. That's good. If you're solo, you need to keep on looting or look for a fight. Right now, we just kind of opted to go for zone, top six. And the downside of doing this, guys, is that you're not fighting. Sometimes it's better just to hot drop and learn how to fight. Because, yeah, you can get placement and all, but that's not your goal. Your goal is to learn how to fight and engage into a fight and disengage. My just unfortunate part is I ran up on a team where they were just, you know, they had better armors. I had white. I'm not winning that. No matter how good I think I am. At least in pubs. If this was ranked, I might be able to isolate them out. But in pubs, people are, people are insane. But yeah, always stay on the move. Don't stay still when you're solo. 
because you don't want to give them information to know that you're that you're by yourself. But the also the other tip as well is that you'll keep rotating for loot. Right now, what I'm waiting so the the flow you have to understand the flow of a lobby. That's another tip I can I can give you guys is understanding the flow of a lobby whether they die out really early or the teams are all alive and whether you have to play patiently or not. So in this lobby. Everyone got eliminated pretty early on, so you'll notice that's why I didn't engage in the fight because I realized that, okay, they finished, they got better armors, they have better guns, and I didn't land every single one of my shots, right? So now, I need to make sure the next fight that happens, that they push onto each other or that I have better positioning. And there's a shot, so let's go push on that. I think they're fighting over by turbine side. There's two things I could do with the zone. I can push outside a zone, which I'm going to do. Or I can wait for them to rotate in. So I know that they're back here, so I'm going to go push that. And then they are in front of me. I'll put the gen down so I have my safety blanket. It's unfortunate. I need the teams to isolate. I didn't think the other team was going to run up. It's really poor timing. I don't know how that happened. Is this person by themselves? I swear I saw two here. That guy's absolutely shredded. I need to push on that. Yeah, I'm pushing on that. Even if I die, it doesn't matter. I need, I need to get this. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Uh, well, you, you go for the play. I shredded him. I did my damage. I needed to push in on it. I just shot the down guy, unfortunately. But that that's my play. That's literally the best play I had. This Loba is so low. I could have swapped armors right afterwards, and it would have been just fine. But, again, that's just kind of the cards that you're dealt. And so let's go again. Let's go for round two. All right, this is round two, game two. Again, that was not awful positioning. Oh, no. I kind of wish this was on Olympus. That's okay. It is what it is. But we had the right encounter there. I just needed to not whiff as soon as I dropped down. But I, you know, got the knock. We had a really good play. Did a lot of damage. And I, unfortunately, got pretty much thirded in the back. So we're going to land a little closer to the action here. Because I don't want to miss out on half the lobby getting eliminated. So it seems like a lot of lobbies, and this happens in pubs, just get eliminated really early on. So I'm going to kind of land in between these two. And I'm going to push out really, really quickly. I just hope that I don't get pushed in the back. And we'll see kind of how it plays out. Always enjoy playing Watson. She's just so much fun to teach on. Like, I, I've been enjoying Horizon a lot. But if I'm also providing educational content, like, you you know when you can push and when you can't. And that was a scenario where, regard, like, there's no other option from the last round of what you, what, what you can do. If somebody said, oh, well, you just run and rotate. Well, you're going to have to fight them at some point. And also, we're here to learn. You know, we're here to improve and make progress. All right, we're going to get involved over here. I think all of this is unlooted for the most part. I'm trying to listen. Fence deployed. Let's move up. I need to get damage to get some armor in. Let's climb up. Let's take height instead. I'm going to wait before I take a shot. I don't know these this situation here. I realized that he was by himself. He was a little late. I'm going to go for that blue. I'm going to rotate out. I can't stay. You can't stay for too long and there's a scan. That's the reason why you can't stay. You need to be definitive in your decision making. This is this is what you learn from solo king. This is how you improve. I don't have the resources. At least I was able to get a blue armor out of the situation. Now I'm going to rotate out. I'm going to hope that this team over by... Uh, Octillery is, doesn't become a problem for me. But you just have to realize very quickly, can you make something out of this? And most of the time, the answer is sometimes no. But that's okay. That's why you look for the right answer, you know? A lot of teams fought, and for, and this this happens. Sometimes you just don't get the RNG that you want. Like, if they fought right here, I would have run up right on them and fought. Or if they were up here, and just sometimes, you know, teams are just weird, man. Especially in pubs. They don't do exactly what you want them to do. <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm going to rotate across now 
And I know there's a team here, but I need to run. I need to get into zone. Mm, they actually might have already rotated based on this, uh, this loot here. My loadout isn't bad, but it's designed for close range at this point. I would love an R301 so to pair with this. I think they're down below, which is good. Literally built for close range, which is very unfortunate. I could craft myself a gun, but I'm going to expose my positioning. Let's see what's down going on down below. I know that the... I might get involved with this. They might give me my weapons, but I'm going to have to be pretty close and personal on this. I need to make a decision within 10 seconds. Attention. There is a new kill leader. I'm just going to rotate. They're taking way too long. I'm going to rotate right because I know this team is going to showcase in the back over here. So they just blew up the hole. It's not a grenade of actually fighting, so I'm going to rotate. Unfortunately, I'm not getting into any crazy action, but, you know, this is also the reality. Keep moving. Keep trying to find and isolate a fight. You run into a team, you fight. Okay, I'm going to switch to a sentinel. I need, I need long range. I need to get some poke damage in. Shoot. Of course there's a full team. I need a back. I don't think I'm going to be able to clutch that out. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead this team into this other team over here. I want them to think that I'm a part of the squad. Also learn how to heal while you're moving. Make sure to bunny hop heal. Make sure to maximize on time. Make sure to use your movement. Remember, the, the best advice I get from most Watsons, make sure that you have the best movement. My goal is to get them to run into each other and then become part of it. I know there was a mag over there, but listen, every second matters. I'm not going to waste my... S you can't get greedy, and that's a mistake I was doing on stream yesterday, is you can't get greedy with your loot. All right, we're going to roll up on this team, but if you get greedy with loot, that's whenever you get eliminated and you, you die. Okay, there's multiple heals. I'm backing out. Oh, shoot. That's unfortunate. Let me go. Let me go. All right, I'm going to rotate around. Well, we got, we got a purple armor out of that. I'm going to flank over here and I'm going to start shooting at him again. As Watson, it's really easy to make a team think that you're like a full squad. All right, let's flank over here. It's a full squad of three. That's it's not going to work. Look at that. They used everybody utility on me. Holy, because we're going to have to rotate then. If I can't isolate them, I'm going to go for a full three fight. Like, it's just not going to win. Like, I, I did 140 damage there. Ooh, are they fighting? Go back in. These defenses will tell me if they're pushing through or not. Alright. Oh, yeah, they're fighting. Let's go back in. The duck and weave effect. You either have full disengage and full re-engage consistently. Go back in and out, in and out of the fight. Now I'll pretend I'm a brand new squad again, and I'm going to come up and do some shots. Okay, okay, all right. I am so sorry. I'm dead, guys. I'm 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 dead. I'm dead. This this doesn't end well for me. Heal as we go. Heal as we go. I don't know if they were inting to push. Like I heard the other team. I don't, I don't know what happened here. Just off my oh, they're full hunting. I'm dead. I don't think there's any scenario where I get out of this alive. I'm in my 
Yep, I'm dead. I'm just gonna have to fight. Hundred and forty. That's fine. Well that's round number two. I don't know why they they entered in and where the other team went. I heard them fight and I don't know why they used their ultimate. That was an ultimate not to push. I felt like that was an ultimate to get away. So I'm really confused where this other team is. And of course I run into the one team that has so many kills. Alright. Well, this is just what happens. You know, I I put pressure. I mean, if I had more HP and granted the Bloodhound was isolated at that point, then yeah, I could have made a play there. I did 149 damage. It's not bad, you know? All right, so we go again. The biggest thing is that you make an effort, that you try, and that's the goal here. And playing Watson is very difficult into winning a, a clean 1v3. But, I mean, we're, we're still technically, if this was ranked, I would still be technically getting placement. You know, at least I was able to duck and weave out of a fight. I just need a little bit of RNG to kind of play in my favor. And, and with pubs, it's really hard, which is why it's good practice to solo queue, to read out a team because there's so many different people of different skill levels. And people aren't always playing for placement. Sometimes they're just playing just to rush you. Yes. And when they're doing that, that's really difficult. Sucker. What? Sometimes even I impress myself. <laughs> okay, so this is game number three. Well, we'll try to find a spot where we can kind of get in on the action. Like, over half the lobby's drop. Where are they going? We're going to hover over. Where are they? Wow, what is this? That's fascinating. Wow, I don't think I've... that Here? That many? Okay. All right, well, I'm going to loot whatever I get here. I'm just going to get into the thick of it. And let's get, get some fights, you know. Let's get, get into some action. That's crazy. Why are there so many people there? All right, we have to go fight like fast. Like, oh my God, that was like Christmas morning over there. Do you have anything? No, okay. I'm inside the ring. Feels good. Do you have anything? Wow, there's so many people. Of course people are not going to have anything. I'm okay, we're just getting to the thick of it. And this one. Hundred four. Gonna top off. I don't know where the other one is. Nice. I need to loot him. Need light or that. That works. I need light. Need light. Need light. 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 We're good. I'm gonna come back for those bats, but I have to fight. I think I just took out the whole squad. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. I don't want them to know I'm by myself. I avoid too many. I'll sort loot out later. I have to go. I have to leave. I can't be here. I hope that's not a full squad because that's going to be really annoying. Like, I hope, like, another squad rolls up on him. I'll turn and shoot right now. Where are they? There we go. Now I go back in. Because I do need resources. I'm not going to lie. You see, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is the duck and wee factor, you know? You go in, you go out, you go in. Kind of sounds a little wrong, but it is what it is. I have way too many cells. But, I mean, might as well just hold it. I need ammo. Okay, so we can tell from this fight is that they're not engaged with each other. So if I push up top right... Comms? Where are they? If I push right now, I'm going to be the center of focus. There they go. There's a mistake. They're pushing it on them, which is exactly what I want. Yeah, there's one. Wait for the opportunity. Half the squads are eliminated. Things gonna zip back. I don't know what squad he's a part of. I see there's three here. I might need to run. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna push up on this real quick. I'm gonna get my kill. 
Actually, this is Islo. Isolated here. 110. Very nice. I got my gen down to heal. I need to leave. So this is going to get me kill chat. I, I, I left too late already. I was three seconds too late on the leave. I don't have enough resources and the other team is about to sandwich in. I'm going to duck and weave over on this fight. I don't know the situation over there and I don't want to die from this other squad. So I'm going to duck and weave over here instead. It's going to be the overall goal. Yeah, yeah. Let's get into this instead. Like, I know I had him low, but I, I just don't want the other team to roll up. I mean, there's so many variables, and you just kind of have to take your bet. Do you full engage? Do you disengage? Hmm, maybe I gambled wrong here. We'll find out. Okay, I think we got it, got it right. The downside is I'm really low on ammo. Okay, I'm going to go for the grief here. It's probably not the play, but I'm going to do it anyways. Because I need ammo. Which they luckily do. I'm going to put fences to protect myself. I hope they push in on that. Because by the time I bat, at least I have ammo now. The other team is fighting behind me, so I have time. Not long. But I do have time. I need them to make a mistake, like, big time. Okay, I'm dead. Yep. Okay, the best thing I can hope for is that those two teams fight instead of focusing me. Please don't focus me. Focus each other. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Okay, I reposition. I'm going to use a Phoenix because I'm going to take this slow. Okay, there's a zip line. They're fighting on each other. So the amount of time, that's why I said I was, you can feel out in a fight when you're going, not going to make it. And that's whenever you need to get out and reposition. I count four. Is there a Mirage here? Yeah, it's a Mirage. Okay. I need for them to fight. But all I can do right now is kind of bully up top. Let's take that. Let's go. Flatline. So I'm going to put fences here. I'm going to wait patiently. We're still kill leader. This is my little backup trap here. So they did manage to res one. Let's go. That's perfect. This is it. Put Jen down. Hunker down. I think it's a 1v1v1. Do you need more heavy? There we go. Let's go. We back up now. It's gonna grief. I took out an enemy. Unnecessary evil to win. Just topping up my shield. I'll know once they get that knock that it, that this fight is over. I want them to know that I'm still here actually. I actually don't care that they know that we're here. Let's back up now. Fight's over. Actually, I'll stick with the R99. Okay, we can actually go back in. It could cost me here by staying in for too long. Because they, they will find out that I'm solo at some point. Maybe they're low. Nope. 
All right, let's wait and see how many people are part of this team. I do need stuff. Okay, I'm just going to reposition. They have height. Let's just go around. I don't want to get shot in the back. See what I mean? The duck and weave factor. This is just how you play solos. Like, you, uh, There's some rounds where you're just like, oh my god, it's working. And some rounds where it just isn't. This one happens to be a round that's working. We got six kills. We're kill leader. We're playing solo. You know, it's like you know when to go in to fight and you know when not to. And sometimes it plays in your favor and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, I think they're fighting again. I think we can go back in. I forget, is this round two? If so, we're having a really great morning so far. Yeah, let's go back in. I need to go back in the footage to see if this is round two or three. Comment down below what your favorite round is. Okay, that was very lucky. Now I need the last two teams to fight. I'm gonna wait. I'm literally gonna wait as long as possible. I have way too many cells, but... Oh, hello. Alright, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run and rotate. Unless I can get one of them to overextend and do something dumb, I'm literally just gonna keep running and rotating. Alright, we're just gonna wait. We need the other two teams to fight. Or for somebody to just magically run up on me and make a huge mistake, which at this skill level, I don't feel like it's gonna happen. Oh, they're fighting. We go back in. I thought we were gonna play more end zone. Now, no matter what happens, I have to just full send this because I'm not going to get a better opportunity. Unfortunately. So let's just go. Let's just go see what happens. I need to get a height. If I was Horizon, I'd be able to get up there much faster. But I'm not, so. Wait for me. I don't know why I'm being focused by the Revenant. Don't you have teammates to, like, a team to fight? I'm in trouble. Not gonna lie, that's really annoying. I'm in like, you have, you're literally in a fight. Alright, well, that was a good try. I don't know why the Revenant was focusing me, though. Unless they were just, I don't know, in that great of a position. Very strange. It's okay. Second place, I'll take it. Like, uh, unless the other one had a self-revive or something. Alright, let's go take a look. How many rounds is this so far? Alright, round four. So, I didn't realize that was already game three. These games are not actually bad. We're getting pretty decent placement. And we're getting to some decent encounters. Could be way worse. It's always hard as a, as a Watson all alone here in the world, but you know we do we what we can. Introducing your champion. Particle colliders are our steel ones. They both split atoms, if you ask me. Game four. Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. The statistics just. Let's see where everyone drops. So again, like you saw everyone hot drop, that's all, not always going to happen. You have to feel out the lobby and what's actually going to happen within the lobby itself. Sometimes it plays out in your favor, sometimes it doesn't. Like this lobby here is way more spread out. So we'll take our own individual POI because it doesn't, oddly, it looks like a ranked lobby. Everyone's actually playing a little smarter. Nope, maybe not. Maybe they'll land anywhere here. Okay, I think they're mostly going capacitor side. My goal is just to be involved and pretend that I'm a part. It's like being at a party. <laughs> Horrible analogy. Oh right, yeah, we're gonna hit these bins and hit this building. Let's hit the building first and we'll hit the bins. Round 
Okay, some decent guns. I can work with this. All right, now we engage. We go say hello. It's a car. I have a massive self stick with that. I'll fence up the doorway here just to watch my back. Actually, no, I'm going to start shooting right away. Oh, shoot. What the heck? Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, there you go. That's a very fast round gameplay number four. I did not hear the Pathfinder. And I swear that they ran further in. I would actually need to go through the bottom and figure out what the heck happened there. But I did not hear. And it could be because of my fences, to be fair. But I did not hear anything whatsoever on that Pathfinder climbing up or going around. All right, last round. Let's do the last game. All right, guys. This is game number five. Last one of the day. Hopefully, you've learned a lot. Of tips and tricks throughout this process. Um, I know the title is a. I, I showcased Horizon. I thought I was going to do solo queue with Horizon, but I ended up playing Watson instead for the day because I thought I'd make it a little more challenging. But Horizon is great for solo queuing, so. So I didn't mean to bait with the thumbnail in any way, shape, or form, but she's awesome. I think Horizon is a great solo queue legend. I just realized that with the thumbnail that I have, and Eddie is probably going to be super triggered and be like, why did you tell me to use it incorrect ledge? It's not his fault. I thought I was actually going to play Horizon solo queue. But then when I thought about this, I was like, I might as well just play Watson. She's much harder to to get in and out of a fight. And if at least if I'm Horizon, then, you know, I feel like it's be easier. Okay, let's see where people are dropping. Are they dropping here? Is that really what they're doing? Two teams there. All right. Well, this is gonna have to be a, a fight where I just get as much loot as possible. Then there's a team over here, though. If this is a fast round. I mean, that's, that'll be unfortunate, but I think I hear them. Do I hear them? No? I don't know. I'm gonna be so scared if there's actually a team down here. Oh thank god, okay. I have a long walk to the next ring. I need to loot. I need to run. I need to loot as much as possible. I'm gonna stick with the bow check. Might third that if I can get an armor. I don't wanna go in without an armor at this point. Since I've already been looting for quite a bit. I'm gonna hit these spins and I'm just gonna go fight. A lot more people are spread out because I'm pretty sure that fight over there is already done, but I might be able to get some poke damage in. So then I can at least level up my armor since I don't think I'm gonna get any armor. Alright, let's go. Let's go say hello. Not gonna take the zip a little bit too obvious. I'll probably get shot if they are hanging nearby. I know it'll get me there faster, but it's not about getting there faster at this point. Okay, they're on the other side. So I actually could have taken the zip, it's fine. What I'm gonna do is climb up height on this building, start taking shots, and assess the situation and see how what armor they got. Put a fence for defense, just in case. Finish this guy. I took out an enemy. Cracked. Knocked. Pushing. This is a perfect fight. If I die, that is what it is. I, I should win this, though. Take your armor. Thank you, sir. Let's not take any more time. Let's make sure I know where the team is. I'm going to hunker down here for a second. Did he run? No way, dude. No way. No way did you run. All right, well, it's all my loot now. See? Good fight, good fight. That's exactly what you're looking for. But I can't stay here for long. 
You know, I'm actually going to grab the Car SMG because the Car SMG is amazing. I love that gun. A little bit more than the Prowler. But yeah, having a good long range and then good close range for cleanup is 100% ideal. Do you think these, this guy's going to come back for his friend's banners? I'm going to opt to say no, which is why I'm going to sit here and craft as many batteries as possible. And I'm also going to go to use my accelerant just in case. Last game. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if you got the banner then. All right. Well, I'm just going to sit here and craft then. It would be really unfortunate if I get run up on and I don't have my batteries. Okay, it didn't happen, thank god. Alright, so now I have the ideal inventory. I have as much ammo, loot, all of that as possible, and I just need to go to zone. I got two kills. One of them was from a down guy, one of them was on rotation. But you know what? That's, that's pretty ideal. It's not bad. Way too much heavy, but don't really have anything else to use my backspace for. Ooh. Uh, let's drop that. Accelerant. Okay, I don't need anything else. Let's rotate in. Now, I know a res happened over here. is why I'm moving so confidently over here. I only saw one drop off. But if nobody pushes res, I can assume that I'm relatively safe. And there's the shots. I'm going to go push on that. Get involved when you solo queue. Don't just go for the center zone and rat. Solo queuing is there to teach you to learn. It's okay if you die. It's the whole point. It's how you learn. So when I cut this corner here, I'm going to fence myself just so I have a fallback plan just in case I get pushed. They're a little further up, so I could have actually saved those. I'm not going to take the jump pad. It'll be too loud. My odds are getting better. If they're right around the corner, I'm going to put a gen right here. Negating all incoming artillery. Sweet silence. Laying fences. I'm confused. I, I, what happened here, guys? Like... I don't really need anything. I'm just looting for the sake of it. I need to leave. I'm wasting too much time here. Let's just leave. Because they're going to find out I'm isolated in the amount of zone anyways. Let's just go. Had the right mindset here. This wasn't bad, but at least I know they didn't rotate on my back here because there's fences. So that's good. Just sometimes teams just 100% disengage and can be very frustrating, especially when you're trying to capitalize on a fight. There they go. At least I rotated though. Again, I'm going to put some preemptive fences up here. So I have a fallback. Probably not going to need it though. Yeah, they're further in. Moving up. I'm going to take zone damage. I don't care. I should just moved in on this. It's a little late now. I have gold armor. I have a long walk to the next ring. Okay, I'm gonna just play it smart. I'm just gonna go. This is the last round of the video, so I wanna at least make sure it's a decent round. I mean, this isn't a bad round, but I should've just went in on that once. Because I guarantee that was a 3v2 and I already hit the lifeline. I don't know why I hesitated. And there you go. When hesitation causes problems and you don't win because of hesitation. That's a prime example. 
It was realistically only a few seconds, but those few seconds make a big difference, man. It literally is the difference between winning a fight and not. So it's a good example of like why like why would I hesitate? I mean, I just didn't feel like I had a lot of information, but I had all the information needed for me, so that's just a dumb play on my part. I had that. And now because of the last round I want to actually place decently. Which I guess I already have. They're already top six again. Ideally just want to fight and I should have fought. I regret that fight so much. Okay, I'm gonna do something not so smart. I'm gonna give away my position because I want to fly around and see where people are at. Ah, it actually worked out. Look at that. We'll rotate all the way around. Okay, they're down below. I, was, I almost thought I was about to get a shot in the back, I'm not gonna lie. I need to fight this. I'm gonna flank on the back side over here. Wait for me. Alright, if I get eliminated here, it is what it is. So that gen definitely countered that, but... Pushing up. I've damaged them quite a bit, at least back and forth, so I can confidently push. That was an ash port. Or a port in, I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna flank this way. When I get up here, I'm gonna put fences just to watch my back, so I got something to fall back to. Oh shoot. And there's the fences to fall back to, look at that. It'll buy me one second, like, at least. Okay, they're, they're back in it. I didn't get my kill. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna die. Tap strafe away, tap strafe away. No, I didn't get the bat off. Oh, I got a little greedy. That's fine. But there you go. I mean, honestly, I mean, I shredded him. I pushed. I tapped straight away. If the other team pushed up, it could have actually done something. 1,300 damage. That's not bad. Top five. Hey, I mean, if that was ranked, that would actually have been pretty good. Did they res the person that I shot? I think they did. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys learned a lot from watching some five random solo, solo games. Like, these were all just back-to-back, -back, one after another. If you guys enjoyed the style of gameplay, kind of seeing this, let me know. Leave a like. Show your support. If this was educational, well, I hope it was. But either way, thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everybody.